title, Whispers of the Beyond. In a small, unassuming town nestled between rolling hills, a man named Thomas lived a quiet and solitary life. He was a gentle soul known to the townsfolk as the eccentric recluse who never quite fit in. Thomas possessed a unique gift that set him apart from everyone else. He could communicate with the dead. But as Thomas would soon learn, his extraordinary ability would come with a price he never imagined. Thomas had discovered his gift at a young age when he first encountered the spirit of his late grandmother. She had appeared to him one foggy evening, whispering words of love and guidance. Over the years, his connection with the afterlife grew stronger and soon he found himself conversing with a multitude of souls who had crossed over. While this power offered him a sense of purpose, it also made him a target for malevolent spirits who yearned for another chance at life. These spirits, desperate and vengeful, whispered their desires into Thomas's ear, urging him to help them return to the realm of the living. But Thomas was a cautious man, aware of the dangers that such spirits posed, and he had always managed to keep them at bay. One chilly autumn evening, as the leaves fell from the trees, Thomas felt an unusual presence lurking in the shadows. It was a spirit unlike any he had encountered before, a dark, malevolent entity that exuded an aura of malice. This spirit's name was Vincent, and he had a sinister agenda. He was a murderer in life, and he had no intention of letting death keep him from fulfilling his insidious desires. Vincent's whispers grew louder, insistent and menacing. He vowed to take over Thomas's body, to return to the world of the living, and to wreak havoc once more. Night after night, Vincent's relentless presence wore on Thomas's mind as he struggled to maintain his sanity. With each passing day, Thomas grew weaker his mind and body fraying at the edges. He could no longer distinguish between the voices of the friendly, guiding spirits and the dark and demanding one. The townspeople noticed the change in him, his hollow eyes, his pallid skin, and his erratic behavior. They began to shun him, whispering rumors of madness and possession. Determined to fight against Vincent's malevolent influence, Thomas delved into ancient books and consulted with other mediums to find a way to banish the sinister spirit. The only way to do so, he discovered, was to locate Vincent's earthly remains and perform a ritual to sever the connection between the spirit and the mortal world. It was a dangerous and treacherous path, but he knew he had to take it if he wanted to save his own soul and the town he loved. His quest led him to the long-forgotten records of a series of unsolved murders from the past century. With the help of the spirits of the victims, Thomas pieced together the grim history of Vincent, who had been a serial killer that terrorized the town before being caught and executed. Armed with this information, Thomas set out to find Vincent's hidden grave, which had been concealed for decades. As he journeyed deeper into the dark history of the town, Thomas faced increasingly sinister challenges. The malevolent spirits that Vincent had enlisted to aid him tormented Thomas along the way attempting to weaken his resolve and break his spirit. But Thomas pressed on, driven by an unwavering determination to save himself and his beloved town. In the heart of the woods, Thomas finally discovered Vincent's unmarked grave. With the help of the spirits of the victims, he performed the ritual to sever the connection between Vincent and the mortal realm. As he chanted the incantation, the ground trembled and the skies grew dark. Vincent's spirit manifested before him a writhing mass of darkness and hate. It clawed at Thomas, trying to pull him into the abyss, but Thomas was not alone. The friendly spirits he had helped over the years surrounded him, forming a protective barrier. Their voices, once soft and soothing, now grew strong and resolute, countering the malevolence of Vincent with a final desperate scream. Vincent was banished into the depths of the netherworld, leaving Thomas drained and trembling. As the malevolent spirit dissipated, a sense of peace washed over the woods, and the spirits of the victims finally found rest. Thomas, however, had aged considerably during his battle with Vincent. The toll of the struggle etched into his very being. The townsfolk who had once shunned him now realized the selflessness of his actions and rallied around him, 
offering their support and gratitude. With the help of his newfound friends, Thomas returned to his quiet life as a medium, using his gift to bring comfort and closure to those who sought his guidance. He had faced the darkest depths of the supernatural world and emerged stronger for it, knowing that the power of good could triumph over even the most malevolent of forces. As the years passed, the whispers of the beyond continued to reach out to him, but Thomas had learned to control his gift and protect himself from those with sinister intent. The dark days of Vincent's influence were behind him, a painful chapter in his life that had forged him into a beacon of light for those who needed him most. The town he had once saved now celebrated him as a guardian of the living, a defender against the darkness that lurked in the shadows. Thomas had found his place in the world, and the spirits of the past had become his trusted allies, guiding him toward a future filled with hope, love, and a profound understanding of the fragile boundary between life and death.